And what's this? It looks like there is some mysterious black vehicles parked here. Something has happened here, guys. Hey, how's it going guys? Spy here and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic Mini City episode. So it's been a while guys since we were in the Mini City last. I haven't built too much since and that is because guys I was in the midst of moving and I also reached 100,000 subscribers on the channel and I shall be getting a milestone video out shortly. Anyways, there has also been another problem in the mini city guys and it is not a good one. It is a really bad one. So, as you can see, around the city we got a ton of buildings and there's just a ton of blocks everywhere, right? Well guys, we recently hit the max block capacity, that's what I'm calling it at the moment because I don't know what the problem is, but whenever we uh, build too much in the map, it um, tends to break the game. I'll show you in a second. Okay, it's not doing it right now, but say if I spawn in a truck here, like this guy here, watch what it does. Watch what it does. This is Mr. Krofka's truck. I was going to showcase it this episode, but check that out. Look what's happening. Yeah. Crazy, hey? And then if I place a block down, they're invisible. Yep, so we can no longer build in the scrap mechanic mini city because this happens to anything that is built or even anchored to the ground and it's even worse when it's anchored to the ground because buildings start falling around and stuff like that. Look at that, I could just place blocks. It's like painting in the air. Yep. So I'm gonna remove this truck because this is a little weird. So what I did guys in replacement of future Scrap Mechanic Mini City episodes is I started a new map just for this episode and I think you guys are going to like it quite a bit. It's kind of like a closure type map because we're gonna have to wait until the game is a little more optimized to be able to continue the mini city. I said that before guys in other projects but it seems we have no choice but to keep it on hold I can't do anything about it and I don't really want to start other maps because I want it to be all in one type map for people who want to role play and stuff like that. But anyways, there are a few new things on the map and we are going to check them out before we head into the tunnels way down there to our new map. Alright, so if we head down over here, as you guys could see, we have an airport. You guys said you wanted to see an airport and there it is. We have an airport. I managed to get this in without too many bugs. I had to remove some roads for it to be able to be spawned in, but I did get it in. And this I think is the last building in this map until we are able to get it fixed. All right, so this airport here was made by Common Doge. He has a more complicated name than that if you check the lift here up here, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna call him Common Doge because that's what his name is on the Discord server. By the way, guys, if you want to join the Discord, there is a link in the description. Or you could type discord.gg slash spycakes. Alright, so here we go. We are going to check out this miniature airport. And we are going to get an aerial view of the mini city one last time before it goes on hold. Okay, so here we go. We got a big welcome sign. We're gonna go into the airport lobby here. We got some chairs to wait for our flight. Yeah, pretty neat. Okay, and then we're gonna go on the tarmac over here. As you guys can see, we have a plane. We're gonna check that out in a little bit. We're just gonna check out the airport a little more. We got the airport lights, the runway lights, and look at that. That's amazing. And up over there, we got the radar, we got the tower. We also have a little electrical box here. Pop that open. Uh, that's where all the controllers and stuff are. We don't really need to go in there at the moment. And okay, guys, are you ready for this? Let's go over here. Let's drop the plane. Drop it like that. And we're going to hop in. And here we go. We're going to press 1. Now we're lifting off. And here we go. I believe this uses um, stabilizers. Yep, as you can see on the bottom. To stay hovering mid-air. Looks pretty good. It's a little, pretty much a little flyer plane. You can pretty much use it without even moving forward. Which kind of defeats the purpose of planes. That would be amazing. It's like a... It's like a VTOL type plane. Okay, here we go. This is what the mini city looks like at the moment. It's not totally complete, but hopefully we will be able to finish it in the future. It actually looks really nice. I should have put the buildings a little closer together because as you can see, there are a ton of streets. There's a lot of streets, but I wanted to keep 
it so that there is an individual project in each block, pretty much, almost like that. So everyone had a chance of their own little block. And then over here we got the downtown area, the plane is starting to go out of control, it's kind of tilting to one side. We got the downtown area over here, where we got some buildings, we got the train track up there, the elevated train track, and we also have the construction site back here. Alright guys, so we're gonna go back to the airport, we're going to land our plane, and we are going to go through the tunnels to the new map. And there is some pretty great stuff there. Okay, so here we go. I don't know if I can land this thing. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> okay. I never said I was a good pilot, but... There we go, guys. We... We landed it. We, we landed it. <laughs> so there we go. We got the new airport in the city, and that is pretty much it for the new stuff in the mini city. So let's go over to the car dealer because I don't have any other cars I can use at the moment because I can't really spawn any in. So we're just gonna go inside and we are going to buy ourselves a new car. Open this up. Um, oh, open up. There we go. Okay. So close the door like this. We go over here. We press this button to open up the inside door there for the cars. Plop this down like this, and now we have a car to go on a road trip with. Okay, so here we go, guys. Let's turn this thing and try to get it onto the highway. The heck? That scared me so much, guys. You see that? I thought there was someone else in my game, but there's a, there's a little plane stuck to my car. That is one of the problems I was mentioning. I thought someone just drove up onto the road. It gave me a literal heart attack. I thought it was a ghost. Technically, it is a ghost. It's a ghost plane, guys. Yeah, it's gonna have to follow us for a little bit. Okay, let's drive onto the highway here. Don't pay attention to the ghost plane there too much. It'll, it'll go away on its own, don't worry. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're going into the tunnel. And see you guys in the next map. Oh. I guess I'm walking. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here we are in the new desert map that was made for this episode because I was not sure what I was going to do for you guys instead of showcasing the mini city which we can't do so I built this with Dogelord, Callum and Trifinity they helped a ton with the buildings that are on this map and I believe you guys are going to like this because there are some amazing things so all around there are a ton of cactuses of course because it is a desert and what we are going to do is we are going to just check out this map a little bit. It's just a little bonus for you guys. So over here, we do have a camping area. Nothing too special right in the middle of the desert because who wouldn't want to camp right in the middle of the desert? There are some tents. That would be really, really cold at nighttime because it doesn't look that warm. But we do have a campfire here. I built this and um, I think I did a really good job except the thruster that is underground. Ooh, that's pretty neat looking. And, of course, we do have the old-style transforming camper. This one was miniaturized by Callum, as well as my old pickup truck right there. We're gonna hop in and we are going to check it out. It's pretty much exactly the same as my other transforming camper, although it is a lot more miniature. Okay, and then we got the pickup truck here, which we can attach the trailer to and just drive away, which we might, because we are going to go and explore this map a little bit, maybe go down the highway. Uh, we do have a sleeping bag here with a cactus on it. I don't know why. Maybe the cactus is, uh, tired. And then up over here, we have Doge Lord's truck and camper attachment thing on the truck. Okay, let's just hop in here. And it looks very, very cozy. Of course, we got the green duck in there. And that is pretty much it for the campers and stuff in the camping area. Although, we do have, for some reason, a outhouse right in the middle of the desert. We can hop in this and... Use the bathroom if we need to, even though the door was blown off or kicked down for some reason. I'm not sure why they really had to go to the bathroom, it seems like that. But anyways, that is pretty much it for the camping area here. We're just gonna hook our trailer up to our truck, close the door, open up the hitch, whichever button it is, back this up, attach the trailer, and then we're gonna go on our way. Okay, perfect. Okay, there we go. And then we hop out, press this button. Close this, and we're good. We're good to go. Okay, so here we go. Let's get back up onto the highway. Oh, what? There's a lot of fingers there. I don't know why there's a ton of fingers, but yep. All right. So, let's get up 
back on the lonely desert highway. I don't even know if this truck will get over this ramp, this dirt road ramp. Come on. Yep. Oh, a little jump. A little jump. Of course, it fits the theme. And here we go. We're just going to turn off here. And we're going to follow this highway down a little bit. Very, very barren, like a desert. I'm not sure what I missed, but that is pretty much it here. We got a road. The road does uh, change elevation right there. Had to give it a little diversity. And we got a bunch of signs and also billboards all over. We have a gas station sign here that says gas to the right 200 feet. And then up to our left, we do have a billboard with a giant cheeseburger on it. I'm not sure why. Maybe there's a restaurant nearby. Mm, oh, yeah. I guess the diner is right there. So, oh. Kind of fell off the road. Kind of got stuck in the desert ditch. We lost our trailer on the side of the road, guys. But that's all right. We're here at the truck stop. And that is right. There is a truck stop here with a bunch of gas pumps. We got a little diner here. And we also got some trucks there as well as... A scale so we're just gonna turn around like a jerk we just spun around in a 360 doing donuts okay oh i'm not a good driver guys i'm not a good driver okay let's park right here perfect parking job actually that was almost perfect although i am over the lines but that's all right so here we go we have the gas station here we got a bunch of pumps we can turn them on get some gas and then over here we have a scale for weighing trucks and other uh, transport vehicles. We do have some semis with trailers on them. This one was made by Callum and this one was made by Doge Lord. Okay, so over in the truck stop, we do have this nice diner. We're gonna head on inside and maybe get a bite to eat. So in here, we do have a bunch of tables which do have salt and pepper shakers and they are based on the older diners that you would probably see out in the middle of the desert i'm not really sure but they did a really good job on this stuff i believe this was made by doge lord he did a pretty great job on the diner here we got the buttons back here for all the switches and the lights and stuff like that cash register of course and then back in this room we do have the kitchen which is very, very small and nice. And we can open up the doors by pressing this button. It's a sliding door. That's really nice how uh, he added the little hole there for the handle to fit in. Awesome. So that is pretty much it here. And we are going to go on our merry way and check out some other things. So down over here, you guys have already seen this motel. This motel is the motel from Jalopy. And this was made by Common Doge as well. I thought it fit really well in the desert, so I kind of uh, changed the color scheme a little bit. We do have the sandy color here. We got some cacti all over. We can go in. We're going to check it out really quick, but I already checked this one out. In here, we got a bunch of rooms. We can only go in this room over here, though. Stay in here. I, I assume this hotel has air conditioning, because that would be nice, because we are in the desert. Okay, let's close this door. Let's head down and back out. And there we go. So over there, we do have a, another tunnel that leads out of the city. I don't know where that one goes. Maybe to another desert area. Maybe a brand new city. I assume this is a really, really long road. Maybe a few hundred kilometers worth of desert road. And then we do have a huge communications tower back there. A big antenna right in the middle of the desert. It fits very well. Still very barren even though it is there. Okay, so there is one last thing I want to show you guys, and I think you guys are going to enjoy this one a little bit as well. It's a little bit of a secret, but uh, yeah, don't tell anyone I found it, guys. Okay, so here we go. Let's just head down the road here, and we are going to go all the way down to the dirt road back here. Hit this little jump. Okay, turn right, and this will lead us down this dirt road. What's this say right here? Do not enter. Okay. I wonder what's down here, guys. Turn here. And what's this? It looks like there is some mysterious black vehicles parked here. And a barricade set up there. And some more barricades here with some spike strip. Something has happened here, guys. I don't know what... It Whoa. Is that... Is that a UFO? So we have a UFO here that has crashed in the middle of the desert. I don't know why. There are ducks attached to it. But we do have a big laboratory here, which the UFO kind of destroyed when it crashed. 
That is the lab cake. Lab cakes. Okay, yeah, lab cakes. All right, so let's go in here. There's a bunch of plants being grown back here. And then in this room... Oh, is it, is it going to open? Open up. No, it doesn't want to open. Guess we got to go through the window. Looks like it's just a receptionist computer anyways. Let's go back through the wall. Okay, let's go upstairs. Follow, follow along here. We got plant in a glass container, a showcase. Um, we do have some type of experimental thing here. Let's turn it on. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Jeez. Got to save the duck. I saved you, duck. I saved you. All right, so let's go up one more floor. And up here, I don't think there's anything else but some air conditioning units. And guys, we hit the mother load. We found a UFO in the desert. So, let's go down here. What do we do with this? Oh, there we go. Hop in here. Guys, does this still work? Here we go. Here we go, guys. We're flying a UFO. Oh no. The men in black can't get us now, guys. We're going to a new world. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this map. If you enjoyed this little bonus map that attaches to the mini city story, I guess, let me know in the comments. And I am really sorry, guys, that we can't continue the mini city until the developers optimize the game a little more. We did hit a really big snag that we can't really fix unless we start on new maps, which kind of sucks. But I don't know. If you guys have any more ideas for future projects on Scrap Mechanic, let me know. Or if you happen to have any challenge ideas, let me know in the comments as well. Or join the Discord and give me some ideas in there. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet and bye. There is a bathtub full of cacti here, guys. What the heck? Wait. I can bath with the cactus. <laughs>